Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zoo. Today we're going to talk about BMC's latest innovation, HR case management. This is where IT and HR meets and have this wonderful app that the consumer, not the employee, but the consumer, which is today the employee, the customer, the partner, whoever we are, loves to use. Here to make me understand what this is all about is Steve Terry, all the way from Dubai. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Alf. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. So let's start from the beginning. You're not born and raised in Dubai, uh, but you did end up there recently. What was what brought you to to, to a warmer climate like that? As you can tell from my twang. Yeah. So um, I've been with BMC since January 2000, and uh, actually I did a lot of consulting. Um, an education work out in the Middle East and a role came up and BMC are always really good about sort of letting employees have exposure and I was lucky enough um, it's been nine years now um, lucky enough to get exposure nine years ago and I've been here ever since and you love it down there it's different yeah it's, it, it is different you know um, every place uh, has its pros and cons but this place has certainly got enough pros to keep me here for the last nine years so yeah, I like I like warm weather. I mean, even though I'm in a jumper already, but yeah. I was going to say, it's what, what was the temperature right now outside? Maybe uh, it is a little bit cooler at the moment. Maybe 14 degrees Celsius. So it's a cool. So, I mean, having lived in the tropics, Miami Beach and all like that, so 14 is wonderful. It's like you love that day because you get to wear more than a t-shirt. Here in Tahoe, it's minus five. So thank you. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. You have been on HR case management since its inception and have seen it being built by a partner called MIT, um, being brought into the BMC family and amplified with the additional services around us. In short terms, what are we talking about? What is HR case management? Beyond our product, what's the concept of HR case management? Quite simply, it's a service center or contact center for HR related issues. So it's very simplest. Just think of it as a service desk, but for HR specific issues. Um, it, it's more than just a service desk, but it's, you know, it's really about the contact center. Um, and and, and it, the great thing about it is that it integrates with your HR management systems and your H human capital management system. So it's actually complementary to those more strategic HR focused solutions. So it's it's really got its own place there. and. And the thing about it is that when we actually, um, when we did our due diligence, we, we spoke to our existing customers and we were asking them, how are you expanding the Remedy platform? Um, what are you doing outside of IT? And the number two sort of option was we, we like to do HR with it. Um, and the, the problem was that they were doing it to various sort of levels of success. And so this application actually it's built around best practices. Um, Colm did a lot of work with the consultancy Tower Watson, uh, and and they came up with the sorts of essences that, you know, that a HR specific contact center really needs. And mm -hmm. so, there are nuances and differences from from an IT service desk. But at the end of the day, it, it is the same thing, right? A, a thing happens. Uh, I need my laptop fixed. I need increase my benefit uh, uh, contribution. That becomes yeah. a thing and many, multiple people need to touch it. And that's why services cases and HR cases, hence case management, work quite, quite well together. Or the same, they go down the same tunnel, going to different people, but down the same process tunnel. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's the same nuances, but, but things are different. If you think about a lot of time with HR, it's really about process and policy. Whereas with IT, it's really about assets. Um, when you think about think about any time you've actually raised an issue with HR, it's often really personal, uh, potentially sensitive, and, and even confidential. So you have to be able to protect that data to, within the right elements of the HR teams as well. So we have a lower level of security and visibility model that, that protects. Um, the other thing as well is if you take a scenario um, – Say somebody's uh, somebody's leaving uh, the company. There may be different HR functions that actually need to get involved. So there's a lot more multi-sourcing um, where different teams have to work in parallel. Whereas you know, the, having ITIL, 
the process is very much more defined within the IT uh, space. So there are nuances and, and that's why it's not just as easy as, as tailoring a service desk to simply do HR functions. There's really a lot more to it. And that's where a lot of our customers have gone wrong, right? They've tried to build this themselves versus you just take what pros, real experts in the industry have done and put it on platform. So what's the major values that this brings? So if I install this, does my HR department become more efficient? Does the customer become happier? Yeah, well, in short, yes. <laughs> but I mean, what it does is it helps you standardize processes. We get those organizations, the HR organizations that are looking really to um, to move to a shared services model. And that, and you know, cost cutting is really sort of table stakes. This is really about sort of standardizing the process so that you can offer context relevant information um, in the right channel and the right format. If we think about how many generations, we've got three generations working side by side. We need to be able to deliver the HR processes and policies out there. So a lot more knowledge based content being delivered to, to ideally help people help themselves. The, the ethos for HR case management is, is really different from a service desk. It's not about logging cases. It's really, if I can give you the information to help yourself and you never have to raise a case, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So Would that ever do, happen, do you think? Do you think we're going to get, and in IT we talk about this a lot, so HR is even more exciting because maybe some of our audience, even though are IT professionals, we care less about that. We do care about our life, our money. Um, HR case management management is very much that. It's not so much my insurance, it's my kids' insurance. Make sure that's up to date, it's the best one. Will this improve? Will we make the average person more aware about their HR benefits? Because a huge problem in, and I'm speaking about two Americans, I'm sure it's the same in the world, but it's not that companies are not offering services uh, from an HR perspective. It's that we, the employees, are not aware. We just yeah, don't know. Absolutely. It's that visibility. Um, and and you think about sort of when we look at the, the HR staff, often they they spend all their time firefighting and answering cases and queries and issues because we as employees, we, we never know where to search for it or the information isn't always clear. So making that information available means that the HR staff can focus on more strategic functions like going, you know what, I want to make sure the employees are happy so that that improves you know, improves employee retention. We provide a better service to the employees and they're ultimately they're happier. And if they have issues, they log them and know that and have their expectations managed more quickly mm. so they can So ultimately as employees, we're more productive for the business. Mm. And, you know, that's really where it comes about. When I look at this, I look at the, um, HR case, case management being the first bridge to buy, going both ways from consumerism to technology, uh, enterprise te technology. Right now, there's this gap, and so many great things have happened on enterprises since the last two years. Catching out with consumers it used to be an abyss, it used to this night and day. You, when Sunday evening ended and you had to go to work on Monday morning, you had a totally different IT infrastructure for the worse, for the first time ever, for the worse. Um, is HR case management that bridge to actually bring consumerism into the enterprise because it's now fun? It's, I mean, eventually I wear my Fitbit, right? And and yeah. eventually I'm hoping the HR case management is gonna have that integrated. So I, I go there, I can see everything I've done, all the, all the money I paid, but I can also see how the incentive, the gamification of me get walking up the stairs to take the elevator and so on, being part of my life. Is that going to happen in HR case management? Is that where we're heading that eventually my boss will know that I have a heart attack before I actually have a heart attack? <laughs> I, I mean, healthcare is obviously amazingly important. And it and these and the gamification aspect of, of taking the likes of a Fitbit and, and other personal sort of mobility devices are hugely important. We are, it's actually something we're exploring right now to see how best we can integrate that to um, those sorts of devices to, to, to make a more rounded healthcare program for, uh, to, to combine that for companies. It's, 
we're in the early stages at the moment, but um, we've, we've been coming up with some interesting ideas and, and some, uh, some fun things. So, so really watch this space um, yes. with regard to that. Um, if, what type of company should buy this? HR case management from BMC or from any other, uh, any other vendor? Is that for every, or do you have to be a large corporation, mid-size? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think that it really depends on the, the size of your number of employees and really on the, on, on the HR staff and, and how and whether you outsource um, any sort of HR functions to your um, to, to external companies like benefits and total rewards, as an example. Um, typically, medium-sized companies uh, start getting benefit of this, but we've also got some larger companies like the Adobe's and the Citrix's of this world that are that are using these products. Um, we've got you know companies like the BBC in the UK that are, are literally just rolling out as well through to BBC. Likes, you know, yeah, yeah. So, B and, BBC. And, and, Yes, indeed. So yes. they're going to have to claim their PTOs through an American-based vendor. I love that. That's so so. Well, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> indeed, I mean, the, you get well, the, the good thing. Is we, yeah, yeah. Well, the good thing is we have obviously we offer this both you know in the, in the cloud and on premise. So we've actually got data centers around Europe as well mm -hmm. as the US. So you know, it um, we can house those um, those different scenarios. I never see us as an um, um, American vendor, although that's how the world perceives us because guys like us are not American vendors. So, um, But it's funny. <laughs> Tell me this. Um, when I look at um, the evolution of technology in general and I look at the value that HR case management will bring to my corporation, um, and the reason I asked that question about who does it fit, because mobility was always, oh, if you're a big company, you need it. No, actually, if you're a small company, you need to have better processes because there's only so many of you. So you need to be very efficient, very much like military special forces work. Does, yeah, yeah. Is this the opening? So are we doing after HR case management to go on a tenant? Are we doing facility management? Are we doing other apps in that world? If I'm a BMC customer or if... I'm used in the space of IT, and I yeah. see more and more vendors talking about this platform when apps are being plugged in. What what are we doing? What are we planning to do? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. So we bought we bought the application really about its its HR knowledge and its best practices. So mm. the great thing is that we've got a lot of rich, focused content. Mm. Um, but actually, the application itself, because it's built on Remedy, I mean, you know, it's very flexible to adopt um, and, and to adapt. And mm -hmm. and actually, we've got existing customers that have that use HR case for much more than just HR related issues, mm -hmm. and they have expanded along the different shared services um, uh, sort of routes as well. The other really nice thing about this is by integrating with our our sort of end user portal. It means that, say for example, you get a new joiner, they've now got a one-stop portal to be able to get their IT requests and their HR requests from one place. Then you think about new joiners, they always have the toughest time. Um, and, and you know, that's really the first bridge for, for showcasing the experience to that end user going, can I get on with all the IT? Have I got all the information I need at my fingertips? So. Mm -hmm. If you can combine that hate those HR related issues, whether you're doing things like changing your 401ks or you're asking for employment letters and references through to, you know, joining the local gym, changing your healthcare provider, all of those functions. And then going, actually, I need an app to be able to allow me to do this when I'm on the road so that I can. Download well, it's not even that. Software. You don't even need to be on the road. It's like if it's not an app. Why am I, I'm not, if you don't have an app, you don't exist. It used to be, if you don't have a website, you don't exist. If you don't have an app, you don't exist. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm not talking about us, who's been around the rodeo for way too long, it's time to, to go home. But um, for the other kids who come in, uh, our, our, our children, and, and the millennials who are standing in line to get the, our jobs, um, to them it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's great, I get it. Show me the app. And yeah, yeah. 
And so that, is that, that a selling point? Is that is that what people see in HR case management a little bit? It's like the future of you can actually put HR in a comprehensive way, not just some kind of web front, in a comprehensive way on an app. Does that resonate? Oh, most most definitely. It was to be honest. It was when we when I went around and I interviewed some of the customers. Um, uh, column column had a had a web based sort of uh, mobile capability and and. Unfortunately, that that just didn't cut it. So we, um, mm. so the first thing we did was to to make an application capability um, and to leverage, you know, my IT uh, in order f because that's what customers were asking for. They wanted something that was easy to use rather than resizing across their smart devices to try and work out whether they were entering the information correctly. So, you know, it was an app or nothing really. Love it. So sum it up in three bullets for the viewers. Why is HR case management or BMC um, a good thing to look at? I'm not saying for you to buy it, but at least have a look at it. So it, it's built on the HR best practices first and foremost. Um, it's we're also bringing in all the lessons that we've learned from an IT capability. So we're bolstering those HR best practices with technology advancements such as the mobile applications of this world, such as great reporting and analytics capability, so that it's easy for hr professionals to actually configure this themselves yeah. we've got a drag and drop process designer that really makes life easy to build solutions so that we consumerize it and make it available to the end user in a matter of minutes rather than sort of hours and days yeah. um, so it's it's so the three things it's built on best practices it's got some it technology best capabilities market leading capabilities that made remedy the market leader and um and it's so quick and easy to configure and adapt to your own organization perfect great well thank you steve i really appreciate you taking time being in the zoo talking about hr case management i think it's a great app i, I we're rolling it out here at bmc so i can't wait to start using it myself so thank you so much thanks ever so much alf thanks for the rest of you out there take care be safe bye-bye